Are you creating real value for your clients? Think about that. How many of you would like to have more clients? Raise your hand. Okay, let me ask you another question. How many of you would like to have not more clients, but the right type of client? That is what people get misconstrued. Getting more clients can be sometimes getting more headache. But when you have the right client, the right avatar, the client that can bring you revenue, but also can bring you referrals, can also give you not a lot of headaches, those are the type of clients that you want. First part of the success cycle, ambition. What do I mean by ambition? I mean create goals. Write them down. When you get into something, if you don't know what you want to achieve, how can you measure if you're having success or not? It's impossible. Now, on top of creating goals, you need to actually set a vision. And I'll talk more about this later on in the presentation, but a vision is an actual game plan for success, okay? This is what you have to do in order to get yourself going down the right road. The second part is drive. What is your why? Personally and professionally, what is the reason that you are in this room? Make more money? Have more time with your family? Leave a legacy? You have to figure that out. If you don't have a why, when you get told no, or when things don't go your way, it's gonna be very hard to continue. Five and a half years ago, I was almost homeless, broke after an NFL career and making millions of dollars in real estate and in construction. I was a week away. When I actually implemented the success cycle in my life and found my why, and then I ended up putting into it the hard work that was necessary, I was being almost homeless to having a seven-figure business. It's not about what you can do now. It's about what are you willing to do now to actually get to tomorrow? That's the question you have to ask yourself. What is it worth to you? How hard are you gonna work? Are you gonna focus on yourself and not the competition? If you start trying to compare yourself to everybody else in your area, you will drive yourself insane because you are the one that makes the decision on what you're gonna do, nobody else. Success, like I said earlier, is not the final destination. It is part of the never-ending saga, the never-ending journey of life. Success is not once in a while, it's every single day. Real estate, financial literacy, investing, buy and hold, it doesn't matter. It's all the same underlining principle of success is driven by ambition, drive and hard work.